Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lefau here, and welcome back to Warhammer Odyssey. So, today I'll be showing uh, my Order of the Silver Hammer Pure Tank build. Uh, this one's pretty much based on just being tanky and kind of working better in groups. You can solo stuff, but it'll be a much, it'll be at a slower pace. Um, so it's more better when you're with groups of people. But this is just the first of... Um, many other builds I'll be doing so anyway let's get started main actions the two actions I got to level 6 is armor of righteousness and stoicism mainly because they both synergize with each other as having more HP uh, means you stack more armor of righteousness lastly I got Sigma's chosen to level 5 as you can't go wrong with having more armor to reduce damage intake with the last three remaining action points, I put mine into Defensive Aura, as it's a good little buff to have for group play. I would say personally I'm not a huge fan of this skill, as I have tested it, and it didn't feel like it reduced a lot of damage, even at 100%. So the two other options I can give you is either go with Escoriation, which will let you uh, gain more threat, so you can uh, easily tank swap if there's two tanks in your group while fighting bosses, or you can go with Lead Away, which is a nice combo with uh, Armor of Righteousness as it gives you 75% more damage while Armor of Righteousness is active. And because it's a uh, cone ability, if you group up multiple of mobs, you'll be able to um, do very good um, AoE damage or cone damage. So if you prefer damage, go with Lead Away. If you prefer be able to generate more threat, go with Escalation. Stats, as you can see I've mainly put my points into wounds, as more health benefits armor of righteousness and accuracy as you want to be able to hit your target 100% of the time as a tank, of course. Then a little bit into leadership and the rest into weapon skills. Looking back at it, I would probably put my uh, rest of my points into leadership as being able to use your skills more uh, before having a proper mana potion would be better. Of course my gear isn't where I want it to be at the moment, I'm focusing on getting armour with main stat wounds and secondary being accuracy and leadership, as I feel this will suit the build I'm looking for. And there you go, my pure tank build. So as you'll see in these um, short clips is me taking on um, different skull level of uh, enemies, for example the fourth skull um, boss spider. You can solo it quite easily with this build. It may take a bit of time because again, you're not doing a lot of damage and you're able to take a lot of damage. Uh, so it will be a bit slow than some other DPSs. Um, and same with um, free skull ones, quite easy to take on again. And then of course, as you can see, you can group up a bunch of them using your lead away and uh, being able to like take down multiple at the same time. Um, as you can see in the corner, I mainly use the uh, Excavation, uh, the Shield Bash ability to stun them, the AoE and of course the Armor of Righteousness. Um, I do have the Defensive Oil on the other tab, but you know I, I don't really use it as much as I see it more as a group kind of thing, not a solo thing because it takes so much mana to use. But that will do it for this video, so I hope this um, build video helps. If you think you can improve it in some sort of way, then leave a comment down below, tell me your idea on um, what I could do to improve this build. Or if you like this build, then again, tell me down below and give this video a like if you like it. I do plan to do uh, more builds in the future. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.